Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Mega House Demon Slayer Petit Rama to Kenohako Volume 1 Series Blind Box. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm very excited about this because this series is super popular in Japan and it's basically all sold out. It's very hard to find nowadays. They released earlier this year and it just sold out like right away. Not just in Japan, but also in Taiwan and a few other foreign markets in Asia. So I'm super excited about this. Um, and each of these blind boxes costs around $7 in Japan. And if you're lucky, uh, if you're overseas, you're lucky, you might be able to find them at around $10. But um, online, they're going crazy. Um, they're like over $30 uh, in the secondhand market. So um, yeah, if you're interested, check out your local hobby shop, check out, check out your anime shop to see if they, they will sell them at a more affordable price or a more reasonable price that's close to its original price which is around seven to eight dollars um yeah i got mine for around ten dollars i'm at one of my local hobby shop which is really awesome um this set it's the wave one from um the patirama to keno hako series and this set comes with four individual figures i only picked up one um that is uh, the one you see in front of you. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, this is my favorite one from this wave. Um, so that's why I picked it up. Let's start the review on the packaging first. Here is the packaging. Here we have Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer in Japanese, Mega House logo. Here's a look of Tanjiro. That's one of the four figures from this wave. And this means Joke no Hako. Um, how, what does that mean in English? Uh, it means like... Um, scenery box or uh anime scenes box you know that's what it means um yeah so and this means there's there's just that's one of the many in this series so i definitely believe mega house will release more of these series in the upcoming months or years um here's a look of two of the uh figures from this wave there's netsuko and there is all three senitsu yinosuke and tanjiro which is the one i got at the back, nothing much going on. And here's uh, another two figures. This is Tanjiro. Very nice looking Tanjiro and Sanyitsu. Um, out of the four, I think this is the worst one. <laughs> uh, because it's not... This is probably the worst one out of the four. And also the least popular. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. They're all super popular in Japan. I think the Sanyitsu is probably the most popular. Because it's really well made. Followed by um, Tanjiro and uh, the three main characters, they are identical. Their popularity are identical because they're really well made in terms of this tiny. Um, they're they're like about five centimeters tall or around two inches tall figures. Um, consider the size of these petite figures. They're really well made, especially the Sanyitsu. I was able to find find all four of these uh, blind boxes at my local local hobby shop, but I only decided to pick up pick up one because. Like I said, this is the, the one I really wanted. Um, but yeah, Sanyitsu is probably the best one. So if you ever come across, you probably want to pick up the Sanyitsu. Tanjiro is also very popular. Um, if you got a chance to um, to to find very uh, a, a lot of these blind boxes at your uh, local hobby shops or anime shops, uh, how you can tell which one you're getting because these are blind boxes is the Saints figure is the heavier. So if you weight it, a way to yourself at uh, the box if it's the most heaviest it will be saints and the three main characters a set this is the second heaviest followed by netsuko and tanjiro is being the most lightweighted uh figure in the box so this is how you can uh can hand pick you know out of the blind box this is how i did uh I know this is the second most heaviest, so I went through the boxes, and this is the second heaviest box. So that's how I got it. Yep, that's just a trick, um, but if you want to just enjoy the whole fun about being a blind box for not knowing what you get, then don't wait it, you know, just pick whatever you want. Yep, so here we have Petit Rama, uh, means uh, Petit um, Diorama. Yeah, that's what it means. Here's the packaging. Okay, cool. And now we have... The figures, they are so adorable. I love them. Um, this is Saint, uh, this is Saints, Inosuke, and Tanjiro. This is a recreation of the scene from uh, episode 25 from Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba animated series, um, season one series. 
uh, it's when when all, all three of them are uh, healing themselves and also learning new techniques at Shinobu's uh, Uchi or Shinobu's um, house. Uh, this is one of the scenes that Tanjiro is showing Senitsu and Inosuke how to beat uh, Ka Kaoru or Ka uh, Kaori. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of that scene. Uh, I think if you've seen the anime, you've seen episode 25, you will remember this scene. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, and the look of the, uh, of the characters are just spot on in terms of the anime. You know, <laughs> uh, here's Tanjiro looking super cute. She's, he's very hyper on explaining to Saint and Inosuke uh, what you need to do to learn the new technique. And Saint is acting like, oh my god, it's so overwhelming. I'm so tired. Can I go sleep? Kind of mood. And Inosuke being like, oh no, I think I lost to a girl. Oh, it's a shame on me. You know, kind of very saddened kind of look. It's just spot on. The emotions, um, the look. It's just spot on to how they look in the anime. And when you open the box, all of these are uh, came separately in separate pouchments uh, in a plastic. Uh, all three of them are, are separated. Uh, so each of them can be separated like so. Uh, so this is how they come in, uh, in four pieces. Basically, here is the uh, wooden bottle. Um, but it's probably plastic. But um, yeah, each of, each of them have a pack hole in the bottom. And you just match the pack holes. Pack hole. And just do like so. It's very easy assembly. Um, just put it in like so, and you will have this amazing scene. Yep, this is my favorite one. And and not only this uh, particular set has all the main characters, Saint Inosuke and uh, Tanjiro, and also this scene. I think it's one of the scenes that I. It's very iconic, you know, to to myself. I think um, yeah, it's really really well made figure, and I like this the most. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of regret it did not pick up the uh, Sanyitsu. I think this is a very amazing looking figure as well. And they're also super expensive in the uh, secondhand market. They're over $30 um, if you search online. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah, I just want this one. So I only picked up this one. Hopefully, um, you know, the people who are interested in this set, they will find ways to find these figures at their anime shops or hobby shops or online at a more reasonable price. So thank you guys for, so much for watching. Here's my review of the Mega House Demon Slayer Patirama uh, Volume 1 series. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.